In this video, we are going to play around with two AWS components. One is known as ECR and another is known as ECS. Okay. So we are going to deploy a Docker image to ECR and then use a task in ECS to run that Docker image. How this entire thing will work? Little theory behind ECR and ECS. All these will be the part of this video. Let's go ahead and start without any delay. Here are the content for this action packed video guys. First of all, we are going to create a project. Okay. From scratch. Then we are going to create a Docker image of that project. Okay. Then we are going to create an AWS user. And we are going to add permission to that user. Then we are going to log in through AWS CLI to AWS so that we can push our image. Okay. Then we are going to push the Docker image to ECR registry. Then we are going to create an ECS task to run the image. And then I'm going to give you some concluding remarks. Okay. So all these things guys, if you do with me, you will learn more. And if you think that after watching the video, you will do that is also fine. But please ensure that you do it after watching because only watching will not help. Okay. So first of all, uh, let's create a simple project. Okay. And for creating a simple project from scratch, I will go to my desktop and I will simply create a file a folder here and I will name that folder Aman demo and I will simply say 03. Okay, just Aman demo 03. Fine. When I say Aman demo 03, I will just have a blank folder here. Okay. In this folder, I will put my projects. Okay, I'll put my uh, this is basically my project here. I'll create my files. Okay. And for that, let me go ahead and open Visual Studio code here. So I will say VS code. Okay. And from there, I will start creating my files. Okay. So let me go here and let me open that that project. Whichever I discussed now. Okay. So open folder, I will say. In this open folder, I will open Aman demo 03. Okay. Aman demo 03 from my desktop. Nothing is there now. Let's go ahead and create a new file. I will create a Python file and I will just give some simple instructions in this Python file. Okay. So I have some note here. I will just tell you what this does basically. Very simple. It just imports pandas and numpy. Okay. And it simply tells which version it is. So I will say check version. Okay, check version. And this file is basically check version.py as you can see here, check version.py. Now, what I need to do is I need to just run it to see if it is running as expected. Okay, first of all, let's do that basic testing. So let me run this. And as you will be seeing, it is running now in terminal. And it should tell me Pandas version is 1.4.4 and NumPy version is 1.26.4. Okay. So basically my command is running. I mean my script is running. That is what I want to do here. Okay. Now, if I want to create a, a Docker image from this, right? So people who are aware of Docker concept, they must be knowing the process. People who are not aware of the Docker concept, I need to go here and create a new file and call that as Docker file. Okay. In this Docker file, I need to say what all things should be there in the Docker uh, when the image is created, right? So I will just go here and I will explain you what is happening here. But before that, guys, if you are not aware of Docker basic concepts, right? What you should do is you should either go to Unfold Data Science YouTube channel and search for Docker video or you can go to Unfold Data Science website and look for this course called Docker for Beginners, okay? So if you are starting from scratch, you are absolute beginner, right? Then this Docker for beginner will help you a lot. Very cheap course. Don't worry. It's very cheap course. You can take it and learn about Docker. Okay. So here when I'm creating a Docker file, what I'm telling is use this image Python latest, create a work directory, copy everything to the app. Uh, sorry, that directory, whatever is created above. Okay. And run my requirements.txt. Entry point is Python 3 and the command I want to run is check version.py. So it will basically run Python check version.py. Okay. So how this works is 
basic Docker concept, it will run everything one by one and create a Docker image out of it. Okay. Now, if you notice line number four is telling pip3 requirements.txt, right? So basically I need to create one more file and call it requirements.txt. So let me do that requirements.txt. I'm knowingly showing you all these things guys because so that you should know how projects are created from the scratch, okay? So pandas and numpy two things I'm using. So pandas and numpy I'm writing here. If I want, I can mention the version as well, okay? So now three files have been created in your project. One is main Python file, other is Docker file, and third is requirements file, okay? So now we are ready to run the Docker build command. What Docker build command does is Docker build command will create a Docker image of your project. So let me do that. Docker build, okay, Docker build, and I'm going to say hyphen T, which is the Docker build command basically, and hello hyphen Python, Python, that is the name of my image and dot. At the moment I run this, right? Image should start building for Docker image. As you can see, all the things are uh, loading. All the things are happening, whichever instructions are there in the Docker file. Okay. And in the end, it will say that I have created your Docker file. Okay. So in the end, that instruction should come. So now what's happening is whatever you have given in requirements.txt that is running. Okay, so as you can see packages are installing and all these things are happening and building is progressing. If you see this part, building is progressing. Okay, so let it progress. Now, as you can see, Docker image is built guys. So if the image is built right, I should be able to see that image using Docker images. Okay, so in Docker images, if I go here, right, I'll be able to see that. So let me run one more time to make it more readable. Docker images. So here you can see hello, hello Python. Uh, that is the one we created just now, 34 seconds ago, the first one, as you can see, this is the one we created just now. Okay. Now, if I run this using Docker run, right, you will see that it is giving me the same result. What that Python script was giving me. Okay. So let me show you that how, what I mean by this. So for example, if I run this, right, Docker run command, right. You will see that it is giving me the same pandas version it should print and numpy version it should print okay so here you can see pandas version it is printing and numpy version it is printing so just to reiterate what has happened till now is we have created a small project and we have created a docker image of that project okay now what we need to do is we need to push this docker image to aws ecr now to give you a little background of what is aws ecr right ecr is basically AWS registry or repository where you store your Docker images. Okay. So if you are familiar with Docker concept, you know that we need a repository or registry where we can store our Docker images. So this is my first Docker image. This is my second Docker image, third Docker image, right? All these images can be stored in AWS on a service called ECR. Okay. Standing for Elastic Container Registry. Now let's go to AWS and try to create a user. So first of all, we have done these two things, guys. Create a project, create Docker image we have done. Let's go to AWS console and try to create a user through which we will do this pushing, okay? So let's come here and go to IAM, okay? In IAM, right, you will see that uh, we can create a user, but for some of you, uh, if all these things are new, right, I'll simply say that you go, go to YouTube, Go to YouTube and search for Unfold Data Science. Okay. Unfold Data Science AWS playlist because I'm going to use some AWS concept heavily now. So if you are not familiar with AWS, you will find 15 videos here or I think more than that. Okay. 15 plus videos you will find here. It will clarify your AWS concepts. Okay. It will help you a lot. But for now, let's go here and try to create a user. I'll go to users and I will say create user. In this user, I will say Aman03 is my user. Okay. And then I will simply click this. Okay. And I will go here. Or let me let me not take this basically. Let me go next. 
and let me attach policies here. So as I told you, we need to add the access to this user, right? So in this access, I will simply say container. Okay, container because I want to play around with EC2 and ECR, uh, sorry, ECR and ECS. Okay, so in container, what I want to do is I want to give EC2 container registry power access. So what it can do is if you have this right, you can upload the images and you can do many things, but this is not the highest permission, but this will get the job for you. Okay. So this will do the job for you. So basically what I'm doing, I'm getting a container registry power. Okay. So I'll go here and I will say next and I will say create user. So user is getting created guys. Now Aman 03, I will click and I will say create access key. And at the moment I say create access key, I will say command line interface. I understand and I want to create a command line interface description tag. I will say demo demo for YouTube. Okay. Create access key. As you can see, I'm getting access key and secret access key. Very important. Let's copy it and keep it somewhere. Okay. So what I will do is I will simply go and copy and I will simply go and copy this and put it here. Okay. So both the things are copied now an important step. Now what to do is our project is created here. Okay. Where is my project? C users Aman R1 drive desktop Aman demo 03. This is where our project is. So what I should do is I should first of all open CMD. Though it should work from VS code as well. But for some reason VS code is not working for me today. I am showing you from command prompt only and it's easy to do through command prompt basically. So in 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 the way I showed you right uh, unfold data science AWS playlist has a dedicated video for AWS CLI. Okay, AWS CLI and AWS CLI video if you see right it will be very very simple for you to do all these things. Now I'm inside C users Amanar. Okay. And if I simply say Docker image images. So in Docker images, right, you can see hello Python latest is there, which we have created just now. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to push this image to the ECR for that. What I need to do is first of all, I need to log into the ECR using the user which which I created. How to do that is this this two things, right? Um, access key and secret access key. You need to run a couple of commands here, guys. Okay, so you have to run this first command. You have to say AWS set access key is this. Okay. And secret access key is this. What is doing? It is basically setting these things for that particular user. Okay. So let me run these two commands. Let me go here and let me run this. Okay. This is run and I will also run this. So all these steps you need to follow. Then successfully it will run for you. I have done this now. Now what what I will do is I will go ahead and create a new repository where we will push our image. Okay, so for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to go to a service called ECR. Okay, Elastic Container Registry in Elastic Container Registry, right? What I want to do is I want to create a new repository where I will push my image because I'm showing you everything from scratch. Okay. Aman 03 Python. Okay. 03 because today is three date. Okay. Third April basically. So I'm saying Aman 03 Python and all these things you can enable disable whatever th th those are not important for basic settings, right? I will go here and say create repository must start with a letter can only contain. Okay. It will not take this. So Aman Python new. Okay. Aman Python new create repository. Repository must contain with a letter can lower case numbers. Okay. Okay. Upper case. It will not take anyway. Aman Python new. Now it is creating the repo. So as you can see our repo is created. Okay. Here what I want to do is I want to go and I want to go and basically copy this URI. Okay. Nothing is there in this repo. When I clicked, you saw nothing is there, right? So when we push the image, it will come here. For now, let's go to repo and copy the URI. So this becomes your Amazon repo URI. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
put it somewhere here. Now, what this command will do is, please pay attention here, guys. What I'm saying is AWS ECR get login password region AP South one, which is my region. Docker login AWS password and username I have given. I mean, these two things I have given in advance. And this is the repository address. This is the repository address that you can see here. Okay, what, what I'm highlighting. Okay, this is the repository address. So what I want to do is I want to run this command. And if this runs successfully right, that means that I will be able to log into um, through CLI, I'll be able to log into ECR. Let's see if this runs successfully. Login succeeded. So I'm able to log in using this new user. Okay. I'm able to log in. Now, what I want to do is I want to push my image to this particular registry. For that, for that, this registry should come here. Okay. This address should come here. Complete URI. Complete URI will come. And before pushing our image, right, we want to tag it basically. So let me, what is the name of our image? So name of our image is hello hyphen Python. Okay. So hello hyphen Python. So I will come here and say hello hyphen Python latest and then this. Okay. So I will just run this command. Anybody familiar with Docker will have no problems in understanding this. What is happening here? I'll copy and I will paste here and I will run. So I have tagged this image. Once image is tagged right, we can easily push this image to that ECR repo. Okay. So I will go here and I will say this. Okay. And I will say Docker push docker push this so now the push is happening as you can see here once this finishes what should happen is uh, in in this aman python new right one image should come so currently no images no images here right so once that runs successfully one image should come here okay so as you can see some push is happening so let it finish and then we can expect to see one image here. Okay. Now you can see guys, this command has finished. Okay. So I will go to my ECR and see if the image has come here. Okay. Let me refresh this. And as you can see, image is here, tag is latest. And if I click on this, you can see other information about the image. Okay. So this is pushed just now. Now, few important things to understand here, guys, before we consume this image. Now, consumption part will come. But before that, um, if you noticed, right, I push this image manually by running few commands here. Okay. But in, in real world, right, these things will not be manual. Nobody will manually log in, manually run the commands, manually push the image. It will not happen manually, right? How it should happen is basically there will be a distributed team who is working on every project. So one person is working on some other component of the project. One person is working on some other component of the project, right? And all these code come and sit in a central repository. From repository, the deployment should happen to the target location. In this case, the ECR registry, right? So if you want to understand that complete flow, right? For example, how a distributed team work in a central repo, how the Git concept works, GitLab concept works, or CICD concept works, or how the pipelines run, right? So I just want you to get introduced to one of Unfold Data Science course here. The name of the course is Git, GitLab, and CICD deployment. So if you go to Unfold Data Science and click on courses, right? You will see there is a course called Git, GitLab and CICD deployment. What this course will cover is everything starting from what is Git to how to do CICD deployment. Okay. I don't want to take a lot of your time, but just go ahead and browse this course. See how the content is and you will learn a lot about Git, GitLab and CICD. Okay. So coming back to the main topic of the video guys. So here what I have done is I have pushed this and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to consume this image. 
for consuming this image, right? I'm going to use a service in AWS world known as ECS, okay? ECS, ECR was, ECR was repository where images are stored. ECS stands for Elastic Container Services, okay? Now those images need to be consumed also inside Amazon, right? So how we can do that? So let me show you here. Here what you can do is you can simply search for a service called ECS. At the moment you click on Elastic Container Services, it tells you highly secure, reliable and scalable way to run containers. So let me go here. Let me go to uh, ECS, okay? And let me say, let me say create cluster. So create cluster, if I say right, what it will tell me is I can create a, I can create a cluster here and I can call that test cluster, okay? When you create a cluster, right? It will ask you what infrastructure you want to use. First of all, what is a cluster? Cluster is basically group of tasks together and services that allow you to share common configuration, common capacity, okay? So cluster, you can think of, I want to group multiple logical entities together. So I create a cluster, put everything in that cluster, okay? When you create a cluster, AWS will ask you what infra you want to use. You want to use Fargate or EC2 or external instances, right? So Fargate is basically serverless. EC2 is, again, I'll point you to AWS playlist on full data science where you will have dedicated video for EC2. You can watch that. But Fargate is something which is serverless. We no need to worry many things about that. So I'll go here and hit create. Okay. So what is happening now is a cluster is getting created for us. So as you can see here, cluster test cluster creation is in progress. Okay. So it might take one or two minutes of time. And after that, it will get created. And then we have to create a task definition. In that task definition, what we have to do is we have to run that Docker image, which we have imported just now. Okay. So we will just wait for this cluster to get created. And then we will create the task definition. So now, as you can see, test cluster is created, guys. And no task is running on test cluster. So what I can do is I can go to task definition and let me open ECR also in parallel because we will need the image URI from there. Okay. And let me go to task definition and I will say create new task definition. Okay. In in new task definition, what I will give name is Aman Aman demo today. Just some name I'm giving. Okay. It tells me what launch type I will choose Fargate. I will keep all these as basic, but here, if you pay attention, it asks me which container you want to use. Okay. My Python today, simple, some name I'm giving. Remember in this URI, what URI you want to run, you have to give. Okay. So in, in uh, ECR, right? So I will go here and I will simply say, I, I should, it should list my containers basically. So repository basically so repository here and what is the name of the image that i want to run so this image in this image this is the uri copy this uri and come here and put it here entire thing up to the tag okay there should not be any mistake here and up to the tag you have to put okay then you come here don't change anything else and just hit create let the task definition get created. So now your task definition is created. So what is your task definition? My Python today. Now in this one, if you see the settings, right? It will refer to this Docker image, whatever Docker image you have given here. Now what we can do is we can simply go to Aman demo today and here it will show you the task. I will just check it and I will simply say run task okay when i say run task it will tell me which cluster you want to run in so i will choose test cluster which i created now okay and i will simply say create okay at the moment i say create you can see here desired state is running and last stage is provisioning provisioning means whatever infrastructure you need right that it is provisioning in the background and what we want to do we want to run this so desired state is running Okay, so what should happen if this runs successfully is 
just pay attention here guys if it runs successfully right it is very similar to running hello python here for example if i say docker run hello python this i am running in local so just try to understand the difference okay i am running in local docker run hello python latest so this is giving me this output okay the same image is being pushed into aws ecr now in ecs we are trying to run task using that same image so which means that the output should be same okay so i will go here and i will go to task definition i will go to services okay so it's not running so basically go to this cluster so you have to go to this cluster and then currently nothing is running services so go to the tasks existing tasks and then whatever was finished you can go from here okay and from here what you can do is you can click on this to see the output so for example here and here you can see the logs okay i ran it two times because first time the log uh, you know the task went and the log was not visible so you can see that there were there was two instances here okay so if you want to see you can just click on stopped and go here and check the log so once i ran one minute ago once i ran for four minutes ago just to check why the logs are not coming okay but normally a both the tasks are doing the same thing so latest one if i open right you will go here and you will go to logs and then you will be able to see what i want to print here okay so these are the print statements that is the output of my code so all in all what is happening here guys basically all the steps we have finished right from the beginning we have created aws user we have added permission we logged in through cli push docker image create ecs task to run and then concluded with the how to view the logs etc okay so please consider giving a thumbs up guys if you like this video i'll see you all in the next video wherever you are stay safe and take care